So guys, let's talk about fluff. Uh, question for the 21st was your favorite model to paint in the challenge so far, and I decided that I'm going to do that as part of the tertiary objective, which is um, to pick a squad and tell you a little bit about them. This was definitely my favorite miniature to paint. This is the sergeant, and I'll get him in a better light. Um, Sergeant for my assault squad. Um, it's a death company hammer that I took the little blood angel symbols off of. Uh, I like the high necked collar piece as well as the robed head and the old school Maximus pattern uh, jetpacks. So, um, let me tell you a little bit about not this guy or the squad that he is part of, but. If you can see this, yeah, this is how you know there's a real nerd in the room. Um, this is my uh, plan, essentially, for my army. Um, what I'd like to do is actually make an entire Space Marine chapter. Um, so you can see, what I've got here is the command structure starting off first. So, um, Grandmaster Ezra, that's going to be my... Um, Oh, who the heck is that guy? Ezekiel? No, Azrael. Yeah, that's going to be my Azrael, um, Grandmaster Ezra, the Keeper of the Covenant, because they are the Guardians of the Covenant. Um, Grandmaster of Chaplains is Salam, the Word of Truth. Grandmaster of the Librarians is ha Ahizar. That's going to be um, Ezekiel and Asmodai, uh, respectively. Grandmaster of the Sword is going to be Baruch. That's my uh, Belial. That's the, the Wrath of Mordecai. Um, so yeah, I guess you can read through this if you want to pause and just look at the names I've given. Um, I tried to give them a name kind of based on the company's role. So the, uh, the first company uh, is the Swords. It's the, the Terminator and the... Uh, Deathwing Knights, the Hounds are my Ravenwing, um, there's the Master of the Arsenal, Master of the Fleet, Master of the Advance, um, let's see, it was my version of uh, Master of the March, Grandmaster of Ritual, I um, can't remember which one that one is, Grandmaster of the Hunt, the Lord of Oblivion, the Grandmaster of Relics, and the Grandmaster of Recruits. So what I did then is actually go through and write out what an entire chapter's organization would look like. So the first company, for instance. So the first company is the Swords of Mordica, the planet that the uh, Guardians of the Covenant are from, according to um, actual Games Workshop fluff, is I believe Mordica 7 or something like that. Um, so I've tried to adapt that into uh, some of my uh, army building and fluff because uh, you know every story is a little better with a grain of truth and so um, try and you know incorporate some of the actual facts even though there aren't very many into um, the actual organization so for instance with Dark Angels organization each company has a grandmaster so in this case Baruch uh, each company has a chaplain the first and second companies are going to have interrogator chaplains. Um, each company has an apothecary. And I've divided this one up into uh, the Lion Blades, which are going to be my Deathwing Knights. Uh, and I've given the sergeant names for the squad names. So uh, Squad Methendees and Squad Persis. Um, that's going to be... 10 Deathwing Knights apiece, so I think it's going to end up being, you know, 20 Deathwing Knights. I may um, increase that number. <laughs> of course, you just wait and see how long the rest of this is before um, I decide to uh, upgrade a little bit. Okay, so next up are the Swords, because this is um, the Sword Company. And those are going to be my Deathwing Terminators. And just flip the page here. Oh, 
So I've got one, two, three, four, five, five squads of Deathwing Terminators. So ten each, fifty Deathwing Terminators. Plus, um, I haven't gone too in detail about the transports and dreadnoughts and speeders and that kind of thing. Um, I'd like to have enough land raiders for each squad, so one land raider per squad, um, and a varying number of dreadnoughts throughout. The dreadnought that I wanted to put with the first company was Venerable Lord Malak and have a contemptor pattern dreadnought. I just thought that would be cool for a first company. The second company are the Hounds. This is where I originally started my um, my army. I started out with a Ravenwing force, and my original thought was to make a unit or a chapter called the Hounds of Caliban, and they were the basically the cast-offs um, for Dark Angel successors. Because the thought I had is, what do you do when you have a space marine who finds out about the Fallen who isn't supposed to know. I mean, if it's um, a guardsman or a citizen, you can easily just shoot them in the head and move on. Or if it's another space marine chapter, shoot them in the head and move on. But when it comes to um, space marines of the Dark Angels, that's a sizable investment, not only in resources, but training and everything else. So... I thought what I would do with them was take the the cast-offs and make sort of a uh, scavenger force of really nasty, ragtag, um, unsupported uh, space marines. But, <laughs> as things happen, I changed my mind a little way down the road and decided to go with a, a more um, uniform style to my army. And so the hounds got folded into my second company, under Grandmaster Lucius, who is going to be my um, Samael. So they've got the interrog uh, Interrogator Chaplain. The Huntsmen are my Ravenwing Knights. Uh, two packs of those. Um, not really sure how big um, a Ravenwing Knight squad can get, but they're going to be maxed out. Um, the Hounds are my Ravenwing Bikers, you can see there. Two Dark Shrouds and two uh, Vengeance Land Speeders. I don't know how many regular Land Speeders, like I said. Um, not really sure how all of that's going to happen. Third company is the Lions. So this is the first actual battle company. Uh, so, of course, the, um, what is it, five tactical squads. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, excuse me, six tactical squads, two assault squads, and two devastator squads. Um, I've given them a dreadnought, but again, that's going to be, you know, something I kind of figure out as I go. The fourth company is the fleet, um, headed by Grandmaster Venerari. Um, the shipmasters are in charge of, I've given them uh, two battle barges, the Fury of Mordica and Emeritus, and four strike cruisers, the Implacable Justice, Lion's Claw, Emperor's Will, and Manu Militari. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I might do it with Battlefleet Gothica stuff. Uh, I might just never have any fourth company stuff. Or maybe just have special characters um, for them. I know I'll have um, the Grandmaster of the Fleet. Because uh, he's part of the Masters of the Chapter um, set. Which I'm picking up soon. Fifth company we have the Resolute. Another battle uh, squad. Um, let's see. I'm trying to remember what I ended up doing here. Hmm. Oh, yes. Okay. So, um, starting with the sixth company, I decided to do something a little different. Uh, instead of a regular battle company or a reserve company, I decided that sixth company, uh, which is the Righteous, uh, headed by Grandmaster Mordecai, are going to be Vanguard veterans. So there's five squads of Vanguard veterans there. Now in the seventh squad, which is the Huntsman, we've got Stern Guard veterans. So it's kind of like a reserve squadron, but of veterans, um, I think that adds some variety. Um, it adds, uh, you know, a lot of different uh, model choices. Um, 
that kind of thing. The Eighth Company are the keepers of the word. Now, I kind of... This is one of my, my favorites uh, as far as integrating uh, Games Workshop fluff with my own stuff. Now, uh, I can't remember the exact title of the Eighth Company, what, what he's supposed to do. But, um, you'll remember the, the new Apocalypse one. He's basically the executioner. Um, he's the guy with the big axe and the jetpack. And so, that's why he's known as uh, the Lord of Oblivion. So the Lord of Oblivion, uh, Dominus, and his assault squads there. So those are going to be full assault squads. Um, one of the relics for the Guardians of the Covenant that is mentioned, um, I believe, in one of the uh, Death Watch books, is the Record of Oblivion. And what that is, is a huge data bank um, filled with information regarding um, the Guardians of the Covenant and other Dark Angels successors and their defeat of Xeno species. So, not just orcs or Tyranids or, you know, any of that good stuff, but even the small time ones, um, the Hrud are the ones that come to mind. Um, there's those vampire guys uh, that I just can't seem to remember the name of. All those other strange ones. So I wanted the uh, Eighth Company Assault Squad to kind of reflect not only the um, <laughs> the assaultiness, the assaulty nature of them. In that, you know, they've all got jetpacks and like to throw themselves into battle. But uh, their position as uh, keepers of the record of oblivion. Uh, they're the keepers of the word. Um, the relicators. Uh, that's going to be my devastator squadron. Um, devastator support squadron. And then last, I've got my 10th company, which are the seekers. And they're going to be my scout companies. Scout company... Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, and Epsilon because um, your scouts are going to rotate through and your sergeants aren't always going to be the same. So I figured the uh, actual um, names of the squadrons would change not based on uh, the person who's leading them but instead on uh, they would be fixed. So, basically, you can see that is a tremendous amount of miniatures to go through. Right now, I'm working towards getting my first battle company done. So, <laughs> you can see the small force I have over there is basically going to end up being, um, when it's finished, the six tactical squads, um, command squad, the two Devastator squads and the two Assault squads, um, along with, I'm going to try and do this at least, six Rhinos, um, and really uh, any other things that I decide go along with the company. I'm not sure which company, in fact, I'm working on at the moment. Um, I think this is going to end up being the third company, which are the Lions, um, quite possibly one of the other ones. Maybe the fourth of the Judicators. No, that's the fleet, excuse me. Hmm. Maybe the Resolute. But that's going to end up being um, one battle company. Uh, one of the other first things that I'm going to end up doing, and I know that this is probably uh, not the you know prescribed order of things, but I've got the Masters of the Chapter series coming in as well as I've already got the models that I want for the Grand Master of Librarians and the Grand Master of Chaplains and the Supreme Grand Master. So with the new releases for Apocalypse, um, I can essentially fill out my entire command structure, uh, paint it up, you know, convert it up just how I like them, and at least have that to show for my efforts, as well as um, integrating some of the first and second company into that. Uh, let's see, what else? So yeah, it's really, um, for me, a very long-term goal, a very, very long-term goal, but I think that having at least one full battle company is just um, a really great uh, benchmark.
and getting there is going to be quite difficult, but quite rewarding in the end. Um, yeah. Uh, trying to think if there's anything else. Um, the Guardians of the Covenant are, uh, like I said, based on Mordica 7, and their uh, fortress monastery is a giant cathedral. That's another thing that I thought um, someday I'd really like to replicate, possibly for an Armies on Parade thing, possibly for, you know, just a big terrain project, but make a fortress monastery, because I haven't seen um, really very many people do that. And I think that Dark Angels in particular are in a really nice spot when it comes to that because of the Fortress of Redemption. Um, it's got those huge angel uh, panels on it that are really just perfect for Dark Angels. Um, and I'd really like to, even if I don't do a fortress monastery, do um, a large-scale terrain piece. Um, I'm thinking something like uh, maybe two to four uh, fortresses, fortresses of redemption some bastions, Aegis defense lines. You can tell I've got grand plans, um, but I am slowly working towards them as far as the execution goes. I'm really sorry this video has gone so long, but I just wanted to share with you my vision for the army, um, where I'm going with it, and um, sort of what's going to be happening, you know, over the next few weeks, months, years, and years and years. Um, one thing that I would like a little help with is designing the um, insignias that go with each company. Now I know like on regular Marines and Dark Angels you would often put the the symbol for the company on the knee. Um, so for instance if they're third company with Dark Angels it's a circle uh, with a uh, that's divided in four with two white quarters and then a red and a green quarter or a red and a black I'm sorry I can't remember the top of my head but you would put that on the knee now with these guys the only people that you can see the knee are the running ones and again it's a greave style so it doesn't actually have a knee plate so just kind of thinking about how do I want to differentiate between squads um, I plan on doing decals for the tactical or assault or devastator symbol um, depending on their role. So that will help differentiate, but um, I'd like to give each uh, each one sort of a little um, symbol because, you know, when you take the time and actually make the uh, the names and everything for them, which did take <laughs> a surprising amount of effort to come up with that many names for squads, um, it just really, uh, it, it invests you in the army to the point that you want to make it the best as possible. So for instance, if I did the lions, I was thinking about maybe getting some astral claw um, edged brass and maybe using that. Uh, if I do, I don't know, the resolute, maybe I'd, I don't know, find something that I think matches up with that and use that as a sort of identifying symbol for them. Um, but again, I'm trying to go for a uniform look so that uh, I can reliably, um, you know, replicate this over and over and over again um, ad nauseum in order to eventually make an entire chapter. So, there you go, guys. In a few years, years and years and years, you can look back at this video and say this is where it all started when you see me at... Uh, Adepticon or Games Day or something like that, hauling around suitcases full of miniatures. This is where it all began. Warboss Tay's July Challenge. Um, it's really been a pleasure. And I hope you guys enjoy the fluff video and where I'm going with the army. Thanks, guys.